Secretary, over the course of the number of years that you've been here, we've talked about tax fairness, uh, tax fairness to brick and mortar stores, tax fairness to um, uh, businesses on Main Street, and trying to provide that level playing field uh, in the remittance and collection of sales and use tax. Uh, you have aggressively gone out there after remote sellers, uh, defining nexus in this commonwealth, and I'd just like to elaborate on, on uh, your successes there. Uh, and along those lines, to dovetail off of that, uh, the Pennsylvania 40 income tax return, you've actually added a line where individuals who can voluntarily report their use tax owed to the commonwealth, uh, and if you could just give us an idea where you stand uh, with those collections, that would be helpful as well. Great, thanks uh, very much, Representative. Well, use tax has certainly been a, a difficult tax to collect from consumers. Uh, we've been very successful collecting use tax from businesses. Uh, that the, um, we bring in 400 million uh, from business use tax. Uh, we only bring in uh, about $4 million from consumer, from, from uh, uh, individual. Uh, use tax. Now, that is up uh, a good $3 million uh, since the addition of, of the use tax line, uh, but it is a minimal amount compared to the overall uh, use tax that, that should be collected uh, or can be collected or, or ultimately is actually due by law to the Commonwealth. And now it's a federal law that requires internet based remote sellers shipping into a state that do not have physical presence or nexus, it's a, f it's a federal law change that would require them to have to collect and remit uh, sales taxes. But what we did under the direction of, of Governor Corbett was we reviewed very closely the uh, nexus and, and uh, uh, se um, use tax laws that exist in, in Pennsylvania. We gained legal opinion and saw that it clearly stated without policy change or, or legislative change that having any sort of connectivity or physical presence within the Commonwealth established nexus. We uh, sat down some very large retailers, uh, say their names now, I think, uh, Amazons and, and others, and let them know that we believe that they had nexus and they should be collecting and remitting uh, tax in the Commonwealth, sales tax. Uh, we worked with the group of large remote sellers to give a grace period so we could be reasonable uh, uh, stewards here in government. So we just didn't uh, change, uh, uh, change the, um, their methodology for collection overnight and we let them know that this is the policy, these are the laws. We offered a grace period. Anyway, uh, September 1st, 2012, uh, the grace period ended. And since then, we've collected an additional $88 million in sales and use tax uh, from over, over approximately 100 formerly remote sellers. Uh, the governor does support uh, certainly these efforts, we're gonna continue them, but we also do support the Marketplace Fairness Act, which would require uh, federal law change. So, so you've collected $88 million from, from e-commerce uh, remote sellers? That's, that's fabulous. Is, is there anything we can do? Because we ran into this interstate commerce, you know, buzzsaw when, when we were working on it initially through the Finance Committee and through an appropriations here. Is there anything we can do to help you out? I know we've sent some letters to our, our federal legislators yeah. talking to them about uh, this issue and, and the need for basic tax fairness. Uh, if right. there's something that we can do to help you out, we'd, we'd be I, I, glad to do that. Thanks, Representative. And that's just it. It is about fairness. That was Governor Corbett's main focus here, that the brick and mortars were simply put at a disadvantage E-retailers, not that they're the, the, uh, the, the problem or the enemy or anything, it's just that they had, they had a, a competitive advantage over the, the businesses on Main Street that, that make up most of the economy uh, in, in, in Pennsylvania, and he wanted a, 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 a fair playing field, a level playing field. Uh, the, the added revenues are, are certainly important, but it was, it was initially about fairness. And I would say yes, um, discussions with our congressional um, our congressional representatives informing them that if the marketplace fairness were to pass in its current uh, language, it may have changed since I last saw it, it would deliver an added $200 million, $210 million we estimate in annual uh, uh, revenues to, uh, to the Commonwealth. Great, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 